So in my explanation for this problem, I am going to at least use the box for you guys to have an understanding. Um, but I will go ahead and finish this out, not just with the box. So basically, again, ladies and gentlemen, we're factoring. We're trying to find the side lengths, right? What times what gives you the area? So our area right now is we have y squared and we have negative 35. And our two other boxes need to add up to negative 2. So we need to figure out what two numbers multiply to give you negative 35 and then add to give you negative 2. So you look at your factors um, that give you negative 35. So um, basically what we want to do is I write down all the factors that give us negative 35. And when we're looking at the factors of negative 35, for, don't worry about the negatives right now. Um, just figure out what numbers are going to multiply to give you negative 35. So I have negative 35, or just let's do 35. So you have 35 times 1. You could obviously do 7 times 5. And those are the only two factors that I have um, that are going to multiply or products that are going to multiply give me 35. Now again, it has to be negative. That means one of the numbers, one of my factors has to be negative. And since they add to give me a negative number, the larger of the two has to be negative. Therefore, you guys can see that the only factors I have are negative 7 and 5. So I can simply just write negative 7y and 5y. Therefore, now to find the area, to find what I'm multiplying by, obviously to get to y, um, y squared is going to be y times y. y times what is positive 5. And y times what gives you negative 7y. That's a negative 7. So therefore, my two factors are y minus 7 times y plus 5, which as you guys notice, when a is equal to 1, your two factors are always going to be y and these two numbers. Okay. Now again, I want you to understand you got to be careful on why that works because it's not all